Hey everyone, glad to be here. And um, yeah, the topic is uh, developer relations. We all know uh, DevRel, developer relations, uh, in the sense of advocating for our product um, with the dev community. But what if our company has an open source play? Out of curiosity, who here works at a company that has an open source play of any sort? Raise your hands with a show of hands. Okay, quite a bit, not surprising. Uh, so when you have an open source play, um, clearly DevRel has a major stake in that. Uh, we all understand that intuitively, but what exactly uh, does it mean, how it works? Uh, does it only mean advocacy or maybe something else? Uh, and how does it relate to the product part that I mentioned before? Uh, I've been practicing DevRel for uh, large uh, projects for uh, quite some time, so I'd like to share with you some of my, uh, uh, my tips on that. My name is Dotan Horvitz. I'm uh, the principal developer advocate at Logs.io. Logs.io provides a cloud-native observability uh, platform that's based on popular open source stack. So luckily enough, I get to uh, advocate for uh, projects such as OpenTelemetry, OpenSearch, uh, Jaeger, Prometheus, and others. Uh, I also have a podcast called Open Observability Talks about open source DevOps observability. And actually tomorrow I'm going to host a live stream with the CTO of the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So you're all personally invited to join the live stream. Uh, and I also do some community work uh, with local chapters, CNCF, DevOps Days, uh, Kubernetes Community Day. So this is why I'm here to talk to you about this topic that is a passion of mine. And I mentioned... Uh, open source plays, but what kinds of open source plays? So broadly speaking, in this context, the two types that I'd like to talk about, one is uh, your own open source, an open source that your company started, that you're the owners of, and then you need to grow. And the other is joining established uh, projects. Uh, just uh, the examples I gave, OpenTelemetry, Prometheus, Kubernetes, and others. So let's look at what DevRel entails uh, for each kind. And the first is DevRel that you own. Uh, and if that's your case, your main goal is to generate awareness and adoption for your project. I call it nurture. And of course, you need advocacy to make sure that people are aware of this new kid in the block. Uh, but also, there is a very uh, strong emphasis on community. You need to uh, build the community around your project. Uh, things such as Slack channel, GitHub discussions, uh, weekly community calls, perhaps a uh, community event, user groups, all sorts of things. Also, it's not just your work as the uh, head of DevRel. Uh, you need to get your developers, the ones that work on the project, involved with the community. If there's a question out there on Slack, let the developers answer that directly. Okay, encourage them. Uh, and still, you need a community manager uh, to make sure that answers are provided, uh, there are follow-ups to aggregate uh, roadmap items, converge discussions, ensure alignments with terminology, and so on. So I'm very uh, glad to be after this talk about community management. I'm definitely in favor, especially for projects that you own. That's one uh, component. The other one, very important, developer experience, DevEx. Uh, and here, the goal is to ease the onboarding, and to enable successful use amongst the community members. So all sorts of things, suite of integrations, SDKs, uh, compiled examples, Docker images, Helm charts, whatnot. Everything that you need that is outside the core uh, project uh, that helps smooth onboarding and uh, starting up with the project. That's uh, on the DevX piece, and one very important thing keep and maintain very clear separation between the open source project and the vendor entity and its uh, products and offerings. Uh, also keep the, your integrity as a DevRel, as a, uh, in, in the open source community, uh, separate from the vendor, and make sure that the open source project has an independent value, independently of the products uh, that your vendor uh, provides. Okay? No one likes feeling lured into an uh, open source project just to be hooked into a, a vendor. So that's for a project that you own. Uh, and if the, uh, your open source uh, uh, plays around established open source, then it's slightly different. Here, your main goal is to establish 
uh, your expertise in the relevant focus areas, depending on uh, your uh, strategy, whether it's a product or a consultancy or professional services or whatnot, make sure that you're focused. And this is the most important takeaway in these cases. Focus, very sharp focus, uh, where you uh, want to generate impact and where it's aligned with your uh, go-to market. And just to give you an example, uh, Open Telemetry, for example, a project that I'm uh, involved in, uh, this is one project, but it's massive. It's the second most active project in the CNCF. It has so many working groups and special interest groups, the technical advisory uh, groups, and, and so on, each one with its own Slack channel, its own uh, weekly or bi-weekly or whatnot uh, uh, calls, maybe events like Hotel Day or Prometheus as Prom Day, uh, PromCon and others. So you can't cover it all. You need to uh, uh, make sure that you understand uh, and take part in a focused manner. Uh, also, they have these, most of these projects have a foundation behind them, uh, like the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. In this example, it could be Apache Foundation, Eclipse Foundation, or whatnot. And the foundations uh, bring their own uh, reach and their own resources that you need to uh, uh, look into and leverage. It could be online resources, such as uh, uh, YouTube channels, blogs, webinar, etc. Or it could be on-prem, like uh, in the case of CNCF, you have a KubeCon, you have uh, co-located events, you have localized regional uh, activities like Kubernetes Community Days. Actually, I'm excited. Next week, we're going to hold our first Kubernetes Community Days in Israel. So, yay, I, I'm one of the organizers, so give me some, uh, some uh, spirit here. <laughs> Thank you very much, very exciting uh, milestone there. And uh, uh, more programs, ambassadors, training partners, certifications, all of these are at your, uh, try and plug into these resources to amplify and to get uh, exposure uh, that you need. However, there is a toll for that. So it is time consuming, it's like managing a large partner. So do take that under advice as well. And again, also in this context, make uh, sure that you keep clear separation between the open source and the vendor. And of course, as a company, you need to make sure that you have a defined path from the open source to the product. For example, uh, with the open search, you say, okay, you, you like open search, but it's too uh, messy and too uh, much of a headache to uh, install, to manage, to uh, handle the uh, index or whatnot. You can check out uh, the, the managed service. Something like that, that is very clear distinction, a very clear path. Uh, and these large established projects have lots of resources, as I mentioned. So where is your part as a DevRel? This is about bringing value to the community. So look at ways that you can uh, contribute and you can bring value, not necessarily just in code. It could be providing uh, clarification, helping with navigation, helping people understand what's what, answer questions, especially in fast-paced or massive projects such as uh, these. Um, documentation, tutorials, simple how-tos, even a search engine throughout the massive GitHub repo uh, with, with uh, a few thousands uh, of, of repos there is, is a great help. And also non-technical stuff. For example, how to get buy-in within your organization to the open source. This is also a type of help, and usually it's left less attended than the core uh, topics that you can provide value on. So this is about that. Um, and just to summarize uh, the takeaways, uh, if you have an open source play, your DevRel should definitely play a key role in that. There's no question about that. If uh, it's your own open source, then core is nurture, especially in the early stages of the project, community component, developer experience. If it's joining established projects, then focus. Keep yourself focused on where is your niche, where is your expertise, and carve it out. And of course, overarching advocacy across the board to, uh, uh, is crucial for both to make sure that you have awareness. Um, I'm Dotan Horvitz. Thank you very much, and uh, may the open source be with you. Thank you.